let's talk Los Angeles Chargers. Got some great Chargers news for you guys. Of course, this is a team going through a massive transition. New head coach, new regime in charge. A lot of former players have moved on. A lot of veterans, a lot of fan favorites have moved on to different organizations. But this is a Chargers team that is quickly reloaded with a lot of young talent that is off to a really, really great start. Harbaugh is known for developing young talent. He did it in San Francisco. He did it with the Michigan Wolverines. And it looks like him and his staff is doing it so far for the Los Angeles Chargers. Let's pull up our first report here, and then we'll talk about it more in detail on the other side. This is courtesy of CBS Sports. The Chargers still had Josh Palmer and Quentin Johnson left over from last year's team, but it was also clear heading into the NFL draft that they needed to add another wideout, probably in the early rounds. They did that in round two, as everyone's well aware, selecting Lad McConkey out of the University of Georgia. McConkey caught 119 passes for 1,687 yards and 14 touchdowns across his three seasons with the Bulldogs, impressing with his combination of route running and electric speed. And here's the most important part. And now that he's into the offseason program, he's impressing Justin Herbert. He's just picked up the offense so easily, Herbert said via ESPN. It's like he's been a four or five year vet. He understands the game. Again, getting on the same page as your star quarterback is absolutely critical for a fast start at the wide receiver position. We've seen other young receivers, namely Puka Nakua with the Los Angeles Rams, get off to a very strong mental start and then go do amazing things in their rookie years. It looks like McConkie's following that same path for the Chargers. Great sign for them. Mize, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Chargers fans, in the comment section below, we're talking McConkie briefly. We're talking second round picks. So give us your favorite Chargers second round pick in team history. There's a couple of names that could be at the top of the list, but you can only pick one. Give us your favorite Chargers second round pick of all time. Put it in the comment section below. And while you're down there, make sure you check out the description box below for a list of our recommended NFL reading for some great summer reading for you guys as we get ready for training camp. Got some autobiography, some deep dives into the game of football. Make sure you check it out. But Mize, I'll throw it over to you now. What are your thoughts on the Chargers and just this influx of young talent that they have going on? Yeah, and I think this is great news for Chargers fans. I think seeing you know, a young player such as McConkie come in. And the face of this team is obviously Justin Herbert or Jim Harbaugh, depending on who you look at. But Justin Herbert is definitely the player that's the face of this team. And for him to come in, and after he's been around so many great players, he's been around the Mike Williams, he's been around, uh, you know, the other Keenan Allens, guys like that who are just such great players. And for him to come in and see McConkie and be so impressed with him, and be, see how easily he's picked up the game, I think that speaks volumes for McConkie. We didn't hear that about Quentin Johnson last year. You know, he's physically gifted, but for a player to come in here, new coaching staff, new system, new quarterback, you know, new timing, new all of those things, and really a, your quarterback say he's really done such a great job. It seems like he's been around the game for four or five years already. I think that is incredible. It's better than someone saying, oh, wow, he's really fast. It's better than someone saying he's such a smooth route runner or whatever physical attribute you could give them. If they can dominate the mental game early, I think as a rookie, that's how you get off to a really, really quick start. But Nick, McConkie is not even the only rookie who's been doing so good. We know Jim Harbaugh says this game is built in the trenches. That's why he went out at the, the uh, their first round pick, goes and gets Joe Alt. And none other than their offensive coordinator, Greg Roman, has also been impressed with Joe Alt. I'll give you a little uh, quote from him. Roman says he's got all the right stuff. He respects veterans, the guys that have done it before him. He's got a great demeanor about him, great work ethic. He's the kind of guy you want in the foxhole with you. Well, he's not in a foxhole, Nick, but he is in the trenches. So I think this is great news for Chargers fans as well about another young rookie and Joe Alt. So for the Chargers... To seemingly hit on their first two picks already, this seems like a great draft for the Chargers, and I would be so excited as if I was a Chargers fan about what this Jim Harbaugh re regime has already done early on. You know, because it's very interesting. If you look at the Chargers' flaws over the past you know, decade, last decade, maybe even farther, the last 15 years or so, it's never been athletic talent that has held the Chargers back, right? It's, they've always been one of the more talented teams in football most years than not. It's been the mental side of the game. It's been the mental toughness. It's been avoiding the dumb mistakes, especially late in the game, especially late in the year that the Chargers have unfortunately always found themselves running into. But now we're seeing two rookies, you know, two young guys in particular, talking about McConkie and Alt, who are handling the mental side 
absolutely perfect. And it's all part of this transition here from the Chargers going from the old Chargers to this brand new Harbaugh-led regime here in Los Angeles. And again, I think this is going to be a great sign going forward. You got McConkey, clearly a very smart guy, impressing Justin Herbert. He's going to have a huge impact right out the gate go. I think this pretty much concerns that. You've got Alt. He's got the right mental uh, mindset. He's got the right focus. He's got the right demeanor. He's impressed a guy in Greg Roman who's been around a lot of football over the past 40 years or so since he's been a coach at every level. The fact that Greg Roman, he knows a lot. He's, he's seen a lot of young offensive linemen come in with a bad demeanor bad mentality, can't handle the side of the game, and they flame out, right? A lot of these coaches have. We're not seeing that from Alt. We're not seeing that from McConkey. The old era of the Chargers of being talented but not mentally with it, either mentally tough or making dumb mistakes, that's gone, right? We're seeing a brand new Chargers regime, brand new Chargers roster, a brand new overall direction for this franchise, and that old dumb Chargers, that's gone. We're dealing with a smart, mentally tough football team, and the emergence of both Joe Alt and Lad McConkey are further proof of that.